arranged a good life for you. It says a good life which he prearranged and made ready for us to live. He's already made it ready for you. Don't you like it when you go somewhere and somebody's already made everything ready for you? You get to a hotel room, you don't want to go in there and the, the, the sheets are ripped off the bed and everything's dirty and, you know, there's towels. No, you like to go into a hotel room. Oh, it's been made ready for me, right? Or you go to someone's house, they make a meal for you. Don't come to my house, I'm not a good cook. But, but you know, you go to somebody else's house, they're a good cook, right? And then you sit down and whew, made ready for you. God says he's made ready for you already. A good life. He's already, so how about instead of trying to create your story, we embrace the story that he's already written about our life, the good life that he has for us. So every life story, my life story, your life story, it's got a, it's got a crisis. We got a good beginning, but then we all face crisis. And then in the story, there's the discovery of the way. We discover this way. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. We begin to discover, and if you read a true story or you watch a true story movie, you'll see in the movie when they discover the way. The way they should go. The, you know, sometimes it might be, you know, somebody comes into their life or this or that, but they discover the way. And 1 Peter chapter 3, 15 says, But in your hearts set Christ apart as holy, acknowledging him, giving him first place in your lives as Lord. Somebody say, Lord. It says, you know, this is the discovery of the way. When we begin to say, oh, I'm going to put God as first place. He's the one who made me. He's the one who formed me. He's the one who already wrote a book about my story. Then I'm going to put him as first place as the Lord of my life. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 says, trust the Lord completely and do not depend on your own knowledge. How many have got yourself in trouble depending on your own knowledge, <laughs> right? We're like, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. We get ourselves into trouble. Trust the Lord completely. Don't depend on your own knowledge. With every step you take, think about what he wants and he will help you go the right way. For God is our helper. Come on. And he's helping us right now. He will help you go the right way. So it says, don't trust your own understanding. Trust the Lord completely. So what does the word Lord mean? And I studied this for this message. The word Lord means the leader who was, the leader who is, and the leader who forever will be. That's what the word Lord means. So if we want to put that into a personal part of our life, it's the leader of my past, the leader of my present, and the leader of my future. That's what it means to say, Lord, it says, trust the Lord, the leader of my past, who was there before the womb, the leader of my past, the leader of my presence who brought me here today and the leader of my future next week, next month, next year, 10 years down the road. That's what it means to have a Lord, the leader. And Luke chapter six, verse 46 to 49, Jesus spoke these words. He said, what good is it for the mouth to mouth the words, Lord, Lord, if you don't live by my teachings, what matters is that you come to me, you hear my words and you actually live by them. If you do that, you will be like the man who wanted to build a sturdy house. He dug down deep and anchored his foundation on the solid rock. Somebody say the solid rock during a violent storm. That sounds like crisis. During a violent storm, the floodwaters slammed against the house, but they couldn't shake it because of the solid craftsmanship. It was built upon the rock. On the other hand, if you hear my teachings, Jesus said, but you don't put them into practice, you'll be like a careless builder who didn't bother to build a foundation under the house. When the floodwaters barely touched the house, it crashed into ruins in the mud. So Jesus is speaking and he's saying, okay, don't just use your mouth to say, Lord, Lord. It's not a phrase, Lord, Lord. It's like, uh, Lord, the leader of my past, the leader of my present, and the leader of my future. Lord, Lord, the leader of my past, the leader of my present, the leader of my future. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. That's what it means, the life, the life before, the life here, and the life of the future. So to say, Lord, Lord, to say, I, you are my leader. You are the leader of my past, the leader of my present, the leader of my future. People say, well, you know, I don't know about leader, but like, I got a fish on the bumper of my car, you know, and I got a Bible at home somewhere. I don't know where it is. And you know, I'm just kind of, you know, Jesus is my buddy. He is your leader.